This video demonstrates best practices for installing, aligning, and testing the Spectra SafeI Quasar 900 Open Path Gas Detection System. The SafeI Quasar 900 is an open path gas leak detection system which provides continuous monitoring for combustible hydrocarbon gases. It employs optical analysis of the atmosphere to detect the presence of combustible gases at an explosive level. The Quasar 900 consists of a xenon flash infrared transmitter and infrared receiver, separated over a line of sight from a minimum of 23 feet up to a maximum of 660 feet. It has been designed to operate in extremely harsh environments where dust, fog, rain, snow, or vibration can cause a high reduction of signal. It is certified by FM6325, which includes operation at 95% signal reduction and fast response time. Open path gas detection is ideally suited for applications requiring a single detector to cover a large area of potential leak sources. The Quasar 900 can be installed and maintained by a single person. The commissioning kit that is provided with the Quasar 900 system contains all the necessary equipment needed to perform the installation. The commissioning kit includes a Lyman telescope to facilitate source and detector alignment, magnetic mode selector for selecting detector operating mode, two function check filters utilized for both installation and periodic functional testing, two hex keys, one for connecting the unit to the tilt mount and the other for tightening the alignment screws, RS-485 communication kit for connecting the Modbus software, which can be downloaded from our website. To provide easier installation and maintenance, we offer a handheld heart diagnostic unit kit, which contains heart handheld unit, harness for quick plug connection, charger and adapters. The installation process consists of four easy steps, positioning, alignment, verification, and validation. Positioning. First verify that you are using the correct source type and have a clear line of sight between the source and detector. We offer different source models to support a wide variety of coverage ranges. Measure the distance between the source and detector installation points and verify that it fits the range of the source model you have. Next, make sure the unit mounting structure chosen for connecting the open path gas detection system is stable. Place the source on the tilt mount and verify the two pins are in place. Tighten the screws with the hex key. Follow the same steps for the detector as well. When done, make sure that the unit is secure and not vibrating or loose. The next step is to perform an alignment of the transmitter and receiver. The alignment process consists of three stages, crude, fine, and zero calibration. An alignment telescope will be used to perform a fine alignment of the source and detector. The first step of the alignment process is to remove the front shield by using the two captive screws. Make sure the source and telescope contact surface is clean. Place the telescope in front of the source and make sure that the two pins on the front of the source are positioned to fit the holes on the telescope. Then fasten the telescope with fastening screws, starting with the upper screw followed by the two side screws. Loosen the two horizontal alignment screws and the two vertical alignment screws to get free range of movement. Then roughly align the source towards the detector. Now tighten the horizontal crude alignment screw and the vertical crude alignment screw. To achieve fine alignment, we'll start with the vertical fine alignment screws. Turn the two fine alignment screws simultaneously in opposite directions until bringing the scope to the center of the detector then tighten the fine alignment vertical screw. Follow the same steps with the horizontal fine alignment screws. Turn the two fine alignment screws simultaneously in opposite directions until bringing the scope to the center of the detector and tighten the fine alignment horizontal screw. Remove the telescope. Reinstall the front shield and tighten the two screws. Follow the exact same steps for the detector as well. The third stage of the alignment is zero calibration. 
Zero calibration must be done whenever there is a new installation, change in installation, optical alignment, and after window cleaning. Before zero calibration, make sure the path is clear between detector and source, whether conditions are clear and there is no gas present in the path. To perform a zero calibration, swipe the magnetic mode selector three times on the receiver side until the LED turns solid yellow. The system has now begun the zero calibration process. The zero to 20 milliampere output should now be at one milliampere. Wait one minute until the LED returns to blinking green. The system is now back to normal operation. The zero to 20 milliampere output should now be at four milliampere. For easier installation and maintenance, you can also use a heart diagnostic unit to perform zero calibration. Begin by connecting the heart handheld unit to the intrinsically safe connector located on the side of the detector. After communication is established, go to the maintenance screen and press the calibration button three times and wait until the detector returns to normal working mode. Now let's move to the verification stage. On the heart maintenance screen, you should verify that the signals are within the specific range per the signal values table listed in the manual. We recommend to record these values to compare at your next periodic maintenance check. Step four, validation. The last step is to validate the system functionality by using the functional check filters in the heart handheld unit. First, position the functional check filter in front of the detector. The filter must be centered over the detector's viewing window. Then. Wait for 20 seconds and read the LEL value on the heart maintenance screen and verify that a blinking red warning status appears on the back of the receiver. Repeat this step with alarm functional check filter and verify that a solid red alarm status appears on the back of the receiver. The Quasar 900 does not require calibration and needs minimal maintenance during its long lifetime. Maintenance includes window cleaning and functional testing using a test filter. The Quasar 900 provides wide area coverage of gas leaks with accurate performance and high speed of response. For additional information, please visit our website at www.spectrex.net.